check that the time and date is correct. 9.22 a.m. Yes. Do you think we need some sunscreen? I've already got like my helmet on, my everything on. <laughs> yeah, probably we need sunscreen. Okay. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Okay, so I'm gonna come this way a little bit and then, okay, so just straight up and out, eh? Coast is clear, let's go. Oh, cool. Vamanos. Si, por favor. <laughs> Whee! Oh, what a nice feeling. To be back on the bike. There's a huge stadium in front of our hotel here. It's a football stadium. <laughs> and we can hear the crowds. <laughs> I think it was on Saturday's game. We could hear the crowds. It was like <sighs> it was like it was like the TV was on, but it was actually the real deal. Yeah, it was crazy. It was actually. Good morning world! Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 327 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the ancient capital of Peru, the city of Cusco. And we've been here for the past five days, catching up with our editing, which is totally caught up now, which is yes. awesome. But also, whilst we were here, we had the chance to visit the amazing Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu! <laughs> wow, this is such a magical place. And you know what? We are nearly the only visitors here at the moment. Oh my god, it was so incredible. At first we had a really nice guide telling us everything about it and also we were like nearly the only ones there, which was absolutely crazy considering that normally four to five thousand people visiting this place a day. But we now have a new mission for here in Peru and another ancient amazing wonder to see, the Nazca Lines. So let me show you guys the route for today. So we are up here and our new mission is to reach the town of Nazca on the coast. So today we are going to be making our way across to Avance before taking this road towards Chalhuanca. So yes, it's 408 miles to the town of Nazca. We don't know exactly where we're gonna end up tonight, but we will try to make it at least halfway. It's already 9.30, so better hit the road, let's go.
Okay, so we've stopped because I can see there's a motorbike shop just over there and uh, we need to get some new chain spray. But man, look at this road. How am I supposed to cross? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going. <laughs> Jesus. Hola, buenas. Uh, cadena spray. See? Gracias. Lubricant de cadenas chain loop. Perfecto. And she. Awesome. Oh, oh yes. The road's free. Let's do it. Success. Yes, lubricant de cadenas. It was uh, 25. Wow, six pounds. Six pounds. You know what they charged us in um, Chile? 25 pounds. No way. Yes. Was it really 25? Yes. How many mil is this? 440. Wow. That's insane cheap. Before we leave Peru, we have to buy like three or four of those. Seriously. Yeah. We've hit the beautiful open mountain roads. Well, it's taken us a little while to get out of the more busy area. We've done 33 miles in just over an hour. Yeah, it's not very fast moving. And I saw on the map as well that the uh, next part of the road will be very, very windy. Like <laughs> super windy. <laughs> <laughs> it goes from like busy to windy. Yes, yes. In really. way, Peru finds a way to slow us down, eh? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's really crazy actually that you, you really can't go fast here in Peru. You can't. But you can definitely say that the roads are beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful. I mean, look at that, hey. It's like really high mountains here. Beautiful mountains. Wow, this was some of a kind roadblock, eh? Wow, yeah, that's a major roadblock right there. Wow. Jesus. This is also a reason that we can't go very fast. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. Jesus. <laughs> Speed bump. <laughs> oh. Dash plates. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, that one I nearly got stuck on that speed bump. <laughs> it was that crazy high. <laughs> Wow, we're down at the bottom of the valley now and we got some big, big, big canyon cliffs coming up. Incredible here. The road is actually following a river at the moment and it's just stunning down here. We're actually just about to go under the cliff. <laughs> wow, look at this river. Wow. I think it was like a landslide or something as well. Yeah, I'm not sure it's totally safe here. <laughs> Seriously, these rocks look like they're about oh to fall. Oh my god. This one. Oh my god. <laughs> That is not structurally sound. Wow, yeah, the temperature climbed actually to 29 degrees at the moment. So we are actually boiling hot. <laughs> yeah, we're wearing our fleeces <laughs> and our like yes. protection, rain protection. I did not expect it to get this hot. Anyway, I think uh, let's find a place to stop. We can have a snack and we can take off some layers. Good idea. Our new favorite snack. <laughs> Cheetos! <laughs> But I have a mango as well, so try to be healthy. There's little flies biting us. We're gonna finish our cake quickly and get back on the road. So we're about three and a half hours into our journey today. Uh, we've just hit a hundred miles, but man, it has been a solid hundred miles of twisties, I tell you. Yeah, I think this is the twistiest road we have ever driven. It's just like winding down all the way to the bottom of the valley, then it's like 30 degrees. Then it's like winding all the way up and over a pass, and now it's 14 degrees. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> there hasn't been more than about a hundred meters straight this entire day seriously <laughs> it's really really crazy and when i look ahead on the map it stays like this it's pretty much like this all the way to the coast for the next 308 miles yeah man i wouldn't like to take a bus here i tell you <laughs> yeah i wouldn't recommend it so we've got the town of aban k coming up ahead but i don't think there's a bypass for it so we may hit some traffic actually we are already in traffic so <laughs> anyway 100 miles down for the day if we can do another 100 today we'll be halfway to the coast yeah it's hot again we're back down in the valley and it's 32 degrees now and we are stuck in the traffic jam because like we said they don't have bypasses here you have to get actually through the town straight through the center hey that's so crazy because every single truck has to go this way and we were hoping to stop and grab some lunch here but man there is nowhere to stop it's not like they have like a nice restaurant with some parking and some shaded tables and chairs no look i mean there's nothing no no <laughs> because it's like if you go right or left you end up in a hill somehow trying to like maneuver around with our bike is like really difficult <laughs> so anyway. i don't know i think we have just to stick to the main road and uh, like keep an eye out right and left if we can find anything yeah we found a beautiful place here to rest with the nice seating area outside and bumblebee just parked up here yeah we're like just outside of the town now so we managed to get through the whole town and then it's opened up a little bit and there was this petrol station which had a little restaurant super nice we have some coffees and some juice and hopefully we're getting our food in a minute because i'm hungry a few moments later is this a meal or is this a meal look how amazing it looks and it smelled so good i think there's some spinach in and and tomato it's been ages since we had a tortilla what a beautiful day Twist it, twist, twist it. it, bring twist, it to Siga. Siga, 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 Siga! I'm getting serious Lost World vibes from this area. It's just spectacular with these forested, rocky cliffs. Beautiful. But more importantly, 19,999.9. We just reached 20,000 miles on the road. Woo! Oh my God. <laughs> Twenty thousand miles. Can you believe it? That's crazy. So we just had a look at our rear tire and look at the tread on this. So it started off like this, you know, about as the width of my finger. And look at the tread on this side in the middle. It's like nothing left. Nothing left. This is like almost as low as where our Trail Max Mission tire was when we replaced it in Santiago. And it's only been 4,000 miles since we replaced it. So this endless. Capra X tyre is absolutely terrible. Our original plan was to take these tyres from Santiago to San Diego at the beginning of the US. And now we're going to have to look for a new tyre probably in Bogota in a couple of thousand miles because, yeah, in like one or two thousand miles, those tyres are going to be toast. Yeah, 16,000 miles on the first set. Yeah. 
Yeah. And now 4,000 miles on the second, yeah. nearly gone. Really bad. <sighs> More landslides, look at this. Peru is the country of landslides. We have passed, no joke, maybe 30 landslides today. I don't know if they're man-made because of the protests or if they're just natural, but it's absolutely crazy how much we've seen that the cliff is just half on the road and you've only got one lane free out of two. It's, it's crazy. It's really crazy. So we have finally made it halfway to Nazca. We have traveled 204 miles today. <laughs> Woo! And we have 203 miles to get to Nazca. But man, that's been, that's been a battle of 200 miles. That has been a tough 200 miles, especially for my gear changing leg. <laughs> So the time is 20 past five and uh, yeah, it's pretty much a good time for us to call it a day. We've seen on Iovalander that there is a hospitaje coming up in a couple of miles in a small town. I think it's the only accommodation in town. So fingers crossed it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> fingers crossed. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on? Mm. This is a giant rock in the middle of the road. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Look at this right here. What is going on? What is going on here? Wow. We have to be super careful going around the corners because you never know if both lanes are going to be free when you get round. Yeah. Cow on the loose. <laughs> yeah, look at this here. Wow. Those are some big boulders on the road. Look at that. Yeah crazy so we just should arrive in the minute at the place where we're trying to stay for tonight so this town is called Kotaruse. oh apparently so we're just sort of going around the corner but then it should come up immediately on the left okay so in on the left right here uh, yeah just after oh, the bridge wait. wait a little bit further Look. just here. Oh, I see a sign. Hospitaje. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if they have parking, but... I don't know. It said they have parking, so I don't really know. Okay. We have to ask. Let's go check it out. Okay, so they have a room for us, but uh, we have one issue, and that is that the parking that they've offered is down some steps, and the bike won't make it down these steps. So, so they've brought out this little wooden ramp that we're going to try and try and wheel it down <laughs> oh my god this could go really badly but anyway i'll ride around and we'll see so this is the little ramp board that i'm going to try to get this lined up with doesn't look too great to be honest <laughs> let me try to get this lined up like this okay what do you think? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Should we try and do a little bit? We'll do the first bit. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah. Okay, ready? I'm gonna just try to push it a bit. Okay, hold on, wait. I'm gonna do the clutch. Yeah. Okay, hold, hold. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna do clutch control. Okay. 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 Is that gonna go over there? Yeah. yeah. Am I not on? I don't know. No, the back tyre probably won't. Okay. Yeah? Is that better? Okay, yeah. Is the back tyre on? Okay. Yeah, back tyre's on? Good. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have no idea what we do tomorrow. We have a room for the night. That's good because there aren't that many options. Good. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. If you're wondering what we're having for dinner tonight, Oh, we're having the leftover rice, woo, with some eggs. Exciting. <laughs> it's like two meals for the price of one. <laughs> exactly. Guys, check this out in front of the room. 
There's like a cornfield in the middle of the hotel. But there's also an amazing view just here of the river, of the mountains. This absolutely stunning location. And the room was, uh, they were asked for 60 soles, but uh, let me get them down to 50. So that's about 11 pounds, I think, isn't it? 11 pounds, yes. So that's not too bad. I just don't want to think about tomorrow, <laughs> how we're going to get the bike back up those steps on that little thin board, but we'll have to tackle that tomorrow morning.